Hello everyone. Today we will be learning about atomic radius and its type. Here first atomic radius. Atomic radius means it is half of the distance between two nuclei of two atoms which are bonded together. Let's take one example chlorine Cl2. This is one chlorine atom and this is one more chlorine atom. These two are bonded together through a covalent bond and this this is a nucleus of one chlorine atom and the nucleus of another chlorine atom and this is called as a distance between two nuclei this is the distance between two nuclei and now atomic radius means here half of the radius between this and this that means if I take here this is 2 R and half of the distance between the two nuclei means this and this. This is the full distance and this whatever I am taking this is called as half of the distance between two nuclei. That distance is called as atomic radius. Half into half into distance. Then atomic radius means it is equal to half into the distance between two nuclei. The distance between two nuclei in this chlorine molecule is 204 picometers. PM. PM means it is picometers. So 204 here you should take. Then half into distance distance value is 204 and half into 204 we got 102 102 is the atomic radius of chlorine molecule okay in that atomic radius there are three type of atomic radius one is covalent radius and metallic radius one more is van der waals radius we will come to the covalent radius now covalent radius means it is exactly same like atomic radius in this half of the distance between the two nuclei of two atoms which are covalently bonded. Now I have taken here hydrogen is an example that means H2 molecule. In this H2 molecule this is the nucleus of one hydrogen and this is the nucleus of another hydrogen. These two are mutually exchange their electrons to form a covalent bond and that distance is called as atomic the distance between two nuclei and the half of the distance is called as covalent radius. It is exactly like a atomic radius. You suppose atomic a distance between the two hydrogens is 100 picometers pm. Pm means it is a unit of atomic radius 100 then covalent radius of hydrogen will be by 2 half then it will be 50 pm means picometers and another type of atomic radius is metallic radius. Metallic radiance means it is present in maximum in a non-metals, uh, sorry, in metals. And that too, if I take one example, aluminium crystal. In that aluminium crystal, aluminium is surrounded by another aluminium atoms or a metals. In that, all these are called nucleus of particular aluminium metals and this is called the distance between the two nuclei of two metal atoms which are surrounded to each other. If I want to take the only metallic radius of particular element then half of that is called as its metallic radius. Like that you can also write for the van der Waals radius but the difference between van der Waal radius and covalent and metallic radius means van der Waals radius is maximum present in only noble gases. Noble gases you know helium, neon, argon, krypton and xenon. 
all these are called as noble gases in these noble gases van der waals radius is present that means the atoms which are not exactly bonded with each other with any attractive forces due to the presence of least attractive forces between the atoms they just touch with each other like this this is one gas or one noble gas and this is one more noble gas which these two are just touching with each other without any strong attractive forces and one more molecule if i take this is without any bonding just they are touching with each other with weak forces that forces are called as weak van der waals forces and these two this is the nucleus and this is also called as one more nucleus and this is the called this is a distance between the two nucleus of two neighbor elements and this is also the same way now what we have learnt is half of the distance is called as atomic radius but now the distance between the nucleus of two neighboring elements of two different molecules here this is a cl2 if i take this is also one more cl2 these two are a different molecules that what i am measuring here the distance between this nuclei of this molecule and this is one more nucleus of other molecule these two are just present in the neighbor but they are not bonded with each other that distance is called you know anyway that is covalent atomic radius and the distance between the two are called as van der waals radius why this we i am calling it as van der waals means van der waals means the forces which are present weakly between the gases or between the molecules that's why van der waals radius is more longer than covalent radius and then metallic radius due to presence of weak forces between the two elements or between two gases now what are the factors that affects atomic radius or atomic radius values here are the factors there are two factors which affects values of atomic radius they are attraction between nucleus and outermost electron and one more is screening of outer shell electrons from the nucleus by inner shell so first of all we will learn about attraction between nucleus and outermost electron suppose take chlorine chlorine molecule in this take one chlorine atom with its atomic number 17 and configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 and then it is 3s2 3p5 total 17 this is nucleus or shell with little nu nucleus and then the second shell this one with 1 2 6 electrons here 4 5 6 now just you count in the second shell 6 plus 2 there are total 8 electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 and 8 electrons and in the first shell there are two so this is called as first shell 1 2 and this is nucleus now draw third shell which contains again seven electrons 
फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड देन सेवन इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर the distance between this nucleus and the first shell this is called first shell and this is second and this is third shell distance between this nucleus and this outermost electron is little bit less when you compare to the distance between this nucleus and the second shell the same if you observe for the third shell the distance between this nucleus and the third shell is more when the distance is more from the nucleus the outer shell will experience a less attractive force than the first shell because as it is very nearer to the nucleus it affects or it gives more attractive towards the first shell compared to the third shell that's why when there is attraction between the nucleus and the outermost electron is the main factor that affects the atomic radius values here if you observe the electron that is present in the first shell gets less value of atomic radius and for the third shell the electrons that are present in the third shell gives higher values of atomic radius because due to the nuclear pull or nuclear attraction second factor is screening of outer shell electrons from the nucleus with inner shells screening means shielding of this outer shell electrons from the nuclear force of attraction with these two inner inner shells in the chlorine molecule there are three shells in that outer shell is third one so these shell is covered by the two inner shells they are one and two due to the presence of these two inner shells outer shell electrons experiences less intermolecular less nuclear force of attraction that's why they have more in size than the first and the second shell electrons with this i'll end my topic atomic radius thank you